Now we're really high tech. Okay, here we go. So same type problem years since. Um, new cases. Ooh, sounds like something we're dealing with. Um, no, these are crime cases. Okay, not COVID cases. All right, so write a linear equation. I'm going to check the rounding after. Um, so here's how we do it. All right, so we take, we copy these values. Open the statistics, the cal statistics calculator. Paste values. Click this edit list drop down. We want the calculator menu. Click the sub menu. We want linear regression. Calculate. Boom. Now, what did they want for rounding? That's the trick that you saw I got wrong on the last one. Um, let's get close all these stuff. It's too much windows open. So what they wanted rounded for the equation is to the nearest tenth. All right. So the nearest tenth. Hopefully you see this screen, but whatever, uh, to the nearest tenth. So, um, oh, you got to be kidding me after all that. All right, fine. So I, it's not letting me write on here. Is there a function that I ever added that I have handy? Fine. So 32.05, all right. So we'll just have to, um, the five, tells me that, whoa, I don't want that. I look, I'm rounding to the nearest tenth. So the five tells me I'm driving that up to a one. So it's gonna be 32.1. That's my A. Um, this is so much harder with this one. This five tells me I'm driving the eight up to a nine. I gotta write this down on this paper. So you're gonna need paper, so my a, and I can put this in the video in a second, my A is 32.1 and my B is 779.9, all right? These are my new variables. So then when I write those out, it's gonna be Y equals AX plus B. So Y equals 32.1X plus 77. 9.9 .9. that's it that's my new equation all right so I got to go back to my other screen the page before and put that in my equation that's y equals 32.1 x plus 779 point nine. Now they want, that was rounded to the nearest tenth. For the nearest, for the other part, they want the projected cases for 2010. So I go 2010 minus 1998. You can put that in your calculator. That gets you 12. So we're going to put that 12 in for this X right here. So I'm going to go in my calculator. So I go 32.1 times 12. And I'm going to add that to 779.9. 1165.1. Now I'm not going to make that same mistake again. Round it to the nearest whole number. So I'm rounding 1165.1 to the nearest whole number is 1165. 1165. That's it. Under four minutes.